Hey everyone, this is Shawnee with Styles by Shawnee. I'm currently working on my doll head. I've already cut a nice bob into her hair, asymmetrical bob, with layers and dimension. We'll see the finished product after that. This portion of my video is going to be me doing creative coloring. I'm gonna section my doll's hair in the crown area. And I'm gonna just use a couple of techniques called creative coloring, panel blocking, sweeping. That's gonna give us an accentuated look of highlights, low lights, and a base. I've chosen some warm colors on the color wheel. I'm gonna go with a red red, a dark red, a blonde, and maybe an orange, just maybe. So I'm gonna section the crown part of her hair. All of this section I want to be the hues of the red. Then I'm gonna go into the nape area and I'm gonna give her I think this is where I'm gonna have my gold or my orange. Not quite sure, but I just wanted you guys to see how I section the hair. You cut the style in first, and then you section the hair the way you wanna color it. And the new millennium, which I'm happy about, is coloring doesn't necessarily have a wrong or right. It's just go with the flow of your creative mind and make it work for you. I'm gonna scoot her up a little bit more so you guys can see her. And I'm gonna start the process of the coloring technique in just a moment. Now these are my white paper strips that I'll be using instead of foil. I already have my tray set up over here of all my color and utensils. I have my clips. I have my measuring cup for my activator lotion. I have my bows. This big one is a double bow for two colors in one. And this one is a single bow, which has my high lift. Color, high lift. I'm gonna go in first and do a high lift to take some of the brown out. Then I'm gonna do a second deposit, which is to deposit the color. This is why color costs, because it takes time, have to have accuracy, and the theory of knowing color with primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. What I'll do right here is I'll section down this portion This portion here I'm gonna leave as a base, which is a nice brown. She's a nice brown now, but I'm gonna make her an even tone brown. I'm gonna go in from ear to ear, right in the middle quadrant. I'm gonna make this a color. Then I'm gonna make this lower portion here another color. And then I'll have highlights on top. So I'll be back. Okay, so at this point of time on her head, I have completed the nape from the very bottom. And I worked my way up to the top, to the midsection. Now I'm gonna go forth and coloring her sides with the lightener. And then a little bit of lift in here. I'm gonna put this paper as you see the other sheets on top where the color is going to process so that my next layer doesn't get color on it. So I'm gonna open up the whole top. I'm gonna take, again, 
the base of the front. I'm going to put it down. So what I did was I made a part. Of the color that I of the hair that I don't want colored, and then I'm going to go in with the rest. I'm going to make a U part to follow that same baseline. part that I'm holding is the part that I'm going to color. So all of that is not colored. This will not be colored. That will be a layer of just the base. This I'm going to do a lift on. So when I deposit the red, it becomes vibrant. I'm going to comb it out for free edges. this down, make sure that it's laying flat. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to place it here. I'm going to let my clip hold that down so that comes all the way around halfway. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'll begin to color over it and secure these two. And then I'll start the coloring process. So I'm going to take my lightener. And I'm going to pull through. Now this one I'm going to do thick coats. On the bottom I did the sweeping technique. On this one I'm going to pull through with big strokes. And once again, this is so that I can lift some of the natural tones off so that I can deposit the red and make it rich and vibrant. These are some of the techniques that I've learned from Tammy Golden's Color Decoded and Creative Color DVD. She'll be featured at the Bonner Brothers 2014 and I'm going as her assistant. So I decided to make a video of what we'll be teaching out there. 
to put on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be right back with the finished results.